545 now, the Credit Card Competition Act. This is a bill in Congress that says it's going to lower credit card swipe fees and help small businesses and create greater competition. But as our Brett Forrest is here to report, there are concerns about unintended consequences surrounding the bill, which could impact us here in Colorado, Brett. Yeah, Bree, good morning. That's right. Introduce some competition, lower fees, pass those savings out to consumers. That's the gist of the bill, but some industries are skeptical, saying it could have other effects, like ending credit card rewards programs like cashback, airline miles, and hotel points, which could impact tourism in Colorado. Credit card fees are just kind of a baked in loss for us. You know, it can be 3%, American Express can be even higher than that. Perry Bolts co-owns Eclectic Co. with two locations in Colorado Springs. Credit card fees significantly impact her bottom line. We're losing thousands of dollars every month uh, for that cost. Unlike other small businesses, she does not charge a transaction fee or have a sign urging cash only. She just eats the extra cost. And it's really a no win, right? Like either we lose or our customers lose. These credit card fees, also known as interchange or swipe fees, are now at the center of the Credit Card Competition Act. They're going to raise the interchange fee again. Introduced in Congress by Senator Dick Durbin of Illinois in 2023. So there's uh, basically a big network that uh, pays your bill right away. So. Basically, there's an intermediary that covers that cost, and then eventually your credit card company covers the cost, and then you pay the credit card. So there's kind of like three little steps in there. And they charge a fee for this service, and there are basically two corporations that do this, Visa and MasterCard. The bill would essentially force competition into the credit card market, giving merchants a choice between multiple credit card networks, which could generate lower prices. A big question that's kind of still out there is will those lower costs get passed on to consumers senator durbin is still pushing for a floor vote adding bipartisan co-sponsors in the meantime now with the possibility the bill could advance the u.s tourism economy alliance launched a campaign about unintended consequences like gutting credit card rewards programs which could impact colorado they say what are the effects on tourism going to be in colorado if this bill passes I recently met with tourism consultant Jim Felton to get that answer. 85% of the people in this country that have a credit card have a rewards component to it. And as we can tell by the growth trends in tourism in Colorado, it seems to be working pretty well. The Tourism Alliance is a project of the Electronic Payments Coalition, a leading group against the bill. They cite a recent survey they conducted where 71% of respondents said they would cut travel without credit card rewards. And they're already facing other pricing pressures at home with housing and energy and food, etc. So the rewards aspect is really, I think, that variable in the, in the decision that says, heck, we've worked all, all year, we're going. But retailers are questioning if that's really worth it. Yes, you might lose the rewards and like these, you know, hyper incentivized cards. But at the same time, is it important to keep small business around? Yes, that's one of my core values, our core values. So Brie, on the flip side, if this bill passes, retailers lower their prices. Consumers might have more money and maybe still spend it on travel. At least that's what one economist is telling me. Yeah, I know that my rewards credit card, I was telling you, it's the only reason I opened that credit card because right. I thought, well, why not just spend it on everything? pay it off and be able to use those points toward travel or something like that. Yeah, I, I have a United Airlines one. I have friends with Southwest American Airlines. I could see them actually limiting travel uh -huh. if they lose this. I think they'd still travel, but probably not as often. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see what comes of this. Thank you.